ברכה קול, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. Being one of Israel's most talented mezzo-sopranos. Thank you. It is a special delight for Culture Buzz to have this opportunity to talk to you about your music, about all the other things that you are doing, because I know that you are very busy. Yes. How did it start? Actually, it started with a dream. Uh, no one in my family is a musician. And when I was seven years old, I had a dream that I'm playing recorder, what we call in Hebrew, Khalilit. And I woke up in the morning and I told my mother, Ima, I want to play again Khalilit. Mommy, I want to play recorder. Just like that. And uh, well, she asked why and I couldn't explain. I just knew that I really wanted to play. So she took me to the Rehovot Conservatory. Rehovot is the city of science as well. It's where the Whiteman Institute is. And I started playing with a group of children. And very soon after maybe six months, uh, the teacher told me that, and told my parents that I'm very, very talented and I should move to another group. And then he moved me to another group. And then he said, well, she's still too good for that. Maybe she should study privately. And I started studying privately. And then he was very modest and he said, well, I'm not good enough for this student. I think she should move to another teacher who is more qualified. And then I started studying with another teacher. And already, when I was 10 years old, I started performing as a soloist. And obviously, not only that you had a wonderful teacher, yes. you were a wonderful student because as far as I know, at the age of 13, you have performed under the baton of Zubin Mehta with the Israeli Philharmonic, playing the recorder. That's right, it's a very big honor. And uh, as I know, it was the first time that Maestro Mehta ever conducted this instrument, the recorder. It was absolutely a wonderful experience for me. It was very, very exciting, yes. At a certain age, you decided to switch from playing into singing. Well, I must say that's true, but before that, something very important happened to me. When I was 15 years old, after playing as a soloist with all the Israeli orchestras, uh, my teachers here thought that I don't have so much to do here anymore and they recommended me to go to Holland, to the Netherlands, uh, which is the country where the early music is very, very developed. Uh, they, they recommended me to go there and study there. So I went to the Utrecht Conservatory when I was 15 years old. I went alone without my family. And I lived there with a Dutch family who welcomed me to their home. They really loved Israel. Uh, they learned Hebrew. And, and you learn Dutch. And I learn Dutch, yes. And uh, the conservatory in Holland is like in Israel the Academy, like the university for musicians. And when I was 17, I graduated the second degree, the artist degree, in two years instead of six years. Wow. So when I was 17, I already had my artist degree as a musician. Amazing. Yeah, thank you. And maybe this is the time and place to reveal to our uh, viewers that just a few minutes ago you have uh, finished or you have uh, been both interviewed and photographed yes. by the most important Dutch magazine for classical music called yes. Lauster, yes, Lauster, which means listen. Yes. So here is a one circle closing and Absolutely. maybe... Absolutely. It was a wonderful idea to do that and I thank you for that. Bracha, uh, I know that you are very busy, not only in Israel, but also abroad. Yes. And whenever you listen, one listens to a wonderful opera singer as yourself, if I may say so. Thank you. One can't help wondering, uh, does the singer have a favorite aria, a favorite composition, a favorite composer? What would it be in your case, if it's fair to ask such a question? Of course it's fair to ask. It's a very interesting question. 
Well, for me, I must uh, admit that what is most interesting is the variety. The fact that the music has no borders. For example, when I play the recorder, it is a wonderful, wonderful instrument and I love it. But uh, the music which was written for it was written only in the early music, which is Renaissance and Baroque which means that it's a little bit limited. And for me, it was very interesting to study the other eras and periods here in the, in the history of music. So I must say that each role that I perform, each aria that I sing, I always say, this is the role of my life. And I feel it, I'm not lying, it's, it's honest, I'm being honest. Whether I'm singing Carmen, or I'm singing uh, Sesto in Giulio Cesare, or I'm singing, singing uh, Cinderella in La Cenerentola of Rossini, those are very different roles, and all of them feel like the role of my life. And when one looks at your repertoire, which I yes. must admit is very extensive and very impressive, one sees very clearly, or, listen, or hears very clearly, this great variety that spreads almost on five, six hundred years. That's true, yes. Ending with Israeli uh, musical pieces. Can you yes. tell us a bit about this? With pleasure, yes. Uh, one of the things I like most is working with Israeli composers singing contemporary music, which is written nowadays, is completely fascinating and interesting for me. Uh, well, first of all, because it belongs to nowadays. It's relevant, it's, uh, it's, it's precise. It's relevant, it's precise. Uh, it's it's uh, very exciting. Now, uh, working with composers gives me ideas, with living composers, gives me ideas uh, to how to uh, interpret and, uh, and perform uh, music of the past, of uh, composers who are not living anymore. So this is very, very exciting. Uh, one of the, or two operas, very interesting operas, which I would like to mention. Please do. Yes, are, uh, which are going on nowadays. Uh, one of them is called the uh, Hayeled Cholem, The Child Dreams, uh, by the, after the play of Hanoch Levin and the wonderful music by Gil Shochat. And uh, it was uh, world premiered two years ago at the Israeli Opera, and I'm very happy that in a few weeks we are going to perform it again in Israel, and in a few weeks later we are going to the festival in Wiesbaden in Germany to perform it there. Wonderful. And this I will be the world premiere? No, the world premiere actually happened two years ago. No, I'm asking the world premiere outside of Israel. Yes, that's right, yes. In the world. In the world, yes. And I have a very interesting role there, which uh, actually was uh, composed specially for me, which is a very big honor. And my role is called A Woman Born for Love. Uh, it's a very dramatic, very expressive role. Uh, another opera which I would uh, like to mention is uh, Alice in Wonderland, Alisa Beretz Applaud. It's an opera for children, uh, written by a wonderful composer, David Zeba, uh, who is a wonderful pianist as well. And, and a wonderful and, teacher. And a wonderful teacher and a conductor. As yourself, by the way. Thank you you are both much. teachers. Thank you. And uh, my role there is the, the Queen of Hearts, which is, of course, very very dramatic and very expressive. Bracha, uh, I know that you are also active with Ensemble Meitar. That's right. And you have made such a buzz in the Israeli opera scene that some composers even composed special uh, music for you. That's right. Can you tell us about Ensemble Meitar and the special uh, compositions? Yes, absolutely. Ensemble Meitar is an ensemble, is a young ensemble. Uh, all the members are young musicians, and uh, which started seven years ago, uh, and immediately won many, many prizes, including the Lando Prize for the for, for the stage arts last year, which was a very big honor. And uh, the purpose of this ensemble is to perform, uh, to this ensemble specializes in contemporary music, especially 
in Israeli music and world premieres. And it is very, very interesting to perform pieces for the first time, of course. Yeah. Um, I can mention a piece which was written for me by uh, Chaim Permont, who is a wonderful uh, composer who teaches at the Jerusalem Academy. It's called Tof Bodet, uh, Words of Lea Goldberg. It's, it's very interesting because it's written for a solo voice and uh, percussion. Okay. So actually there is not a real pitch there. I and, see. Uh, because I have a perfect pitch, what we call in, what we call in Hebrew, Shmi Absolute, it's uh, possible for me to, to sing that piece. Tof Bodet, if we try to translate, will mean something like soul drum. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. yes. And the drum, of course, uh, is a percussion. one of the most noticeable instruments mentioned in the Bible. Yes. Associated with Miriam. That's right. Moses' sister. What about your plans in the future? What are you planning? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I have a concert of Mozart arias. Next week I'm being interviewed to the Russian channel in Israel. And uh, the day afterwards I'm singing a recital of Brahms and Schumann. Uh, then I'm starting my uh, rehearsal at the Israeli Opera for The Child Dreams. And later on this, year, this season I'm singing the Verdi Requiem at the Israel Festival and performing a Pierrot Lunaire by Schoenberg with the Meitar Ensemble and having many, many, many concerts and recitals. Impressive. Thank you. And you still find the time to teach and uh, raise the next generation? Yes, this is something I find very important but also very interesting for me because I like dealing with music from all its aspects, from stage, from behind the stage, from being a teacher and from being a student. I think it's very important for, well, for every person I can say, but obviously for every artist to keep on developing and studying and improving, improving their technique, improving their musicality, improving their knowledge, and uh, this is something I find very interesting. And uh, for the sake of our uh, viewers who don't speak Hebrew, maybe this is the right time to translate your name. Bracha means blessing. Kol means voice, and I must admit that uh, listening to you uh, proves that uh, your parents who gave you this name knew exactly what they are doing. Thank you, I appreciate it. Bracha, I want to wish you all the best and all the success in the world, and thank you for taking the time. Thank you for inviting me. Shalom, shalom. shalom.